I don't know if I should tell you this, Lori. Should I tell you the story? All right, let's. I'll, I'll tell you the story. All right, so what do people do when they go out to the desert, right? They always take fucking mushrooms or peyote or whatever. So I finally decided, like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to try it. So my buddy told me to only take, like, four. All right, so in my head, I'm like, okay, that means I should take six. All right, because he's trying to ease me into this thing. It's like, I'm only going to do this once. I'm never going to do it again. I want to fucking see shit talking to me, right? So I say to my wife, I'm going to take six. And she was like, well, why would you take six? He told you to take four. So I'm like, all right, you're probably right. You're probably right. All right. So the kids are in bed. It's a four-hour ride. It's 10 o'clock at night. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going in. Right. So I take this shit. (laughs) (laughs) One pill makes you nervous. Right. So I take this shit. And uh, it didn't take long. Like 40 minutes later, it hit me. And it just kind of felt like I ate like a fucking pot cookie or something. And uh, I don't know. There was a couple of times like the toilet looked like it was breathing, you know, or like a painting kind of looked like it was moving. But other than that, I wasn't like seeing shit, seeing shit, right? Which kind of bugged me. I was like, fuck, I knew I should have taken... Six, right? But the whole time I was like nauseous. I was like, what is this? Is this like fucking heroin? Like you puke or something? And uh, I don't know. It was like, it was all right. I didn't, but I didn't like trip. I just kind of got into a weirder sort of, it felt like I ate weed or something, right? I know there's all these mushroom people going like, oh man, ah, oh, dude, you should have. Because everybody I know it takes mushrooms like, oh my God, dude. And like I, I understand myself, and I understand like fucking <laughs> the universe, and I'm one with it. And I was looking at all people and just feeling nothing but love. I, I that didn't happen for me. I think because I've been facing all of these fucking things that I've been running from, uh, it kind of went the other way. Like after I was done, kind of like shit, like vibrating and stuff, and I was sort of coming down. Uh, I was left with this profound sense of sadness and loneliness. (laughs) And I was even thinking about people that I knew that I knew loved me. And I still was still feeling that. And I was like, what the fuck is this? This is crazy, right? So whatever. I went to bed. And then the next morning when I woke up, I kind of, I think I pieced it together. It was like. It was actually a good thing. It was kind of bringing all of that stuff to the surface. And it's part of like the whole, all of this shit that I'm fucking finally, finally dealing with. I also made me realize that I kind of slept walk through my thirties and forties. All I was doing was trying to achieve shit because really that's why I got into this business was I'm going to do shit That's going to make people laugh. And then people are going to stop fucking with me. I swear to God, it goes back to like the eight year old me. And then because I thought being on stage, everybody just automatically liked you. Um, And also Twitter didn't exist. (laughs) Hey, you ginger mongoloid, right? I thought if I did that, you know, everybody would like me. People would stop fucking with me. And then I also thought like, because I was afraid to talk to, you know, girls and shit. When I was younger, I was like, they see me on stage and they'll come up to me. I don't have to break the ice. None of that was true. You still, as a comedian, I think with a musician, you can kind of sort of brood off in the corner and they'd be like, Hey, I like really like, like your ukulele. You want to hang out or something as a fucking comic. You still, you still have to fucking, not only do you still got to work for it. They, they want you to be funny every eight fucking seconds. Like what they just saw you doing. So, um, Yeah. So then that made me start watching stand up and everything. And then also stop paying attention in school and just keep fantasizing about like just crazy shit. Like everything from fucking being the nude lead singer from ACDC to like winning the Medal of Honor, like just fucking bananas, like hero fantasies. And all of it came down to me not liking myself and not understanding all this bullshit that was happening to me. Um, 
so, but along the way, because of that, I really got into stand up comedy and then I just wanted to be a comedian. But like, if I really get boiled down to it, it, that's the reason why I did it. I got into it. Um, and I think all of that shit that I then, you know, my twenties was figuring out stand up and meeting all these great people that I am now been friends with forever. But my thirties and forties, I just fucking, you know, plowed through. And, and didn't deal with all of this fucking shit that I, re- it's embarrassing. Like, I feel like I should have dealt with it by the time I was like 21, 22. And now I'm 52, going to be 53. So I think that that's what the tail end of that little experience was out there. Um, so it was a good thing as much as it wasn't like, I think if you're, if you kind of like yourself, <laughs> I think if you like yourself and you're at peace with shit that's happened to you, the people in your life or who were in your life or whatever, I think if you're at peace or not even if you're not at peace, if you've just fucking like gone through sadness and allowed yourself to feel sad, cried or whatever, but as opposed to being like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Right. If you just fucking do that. Or maybe I'm just being fucking narcissistic right now and thinking that my experience will be your experience if you had roughly the same sort of thing. But I, I would be interested to hear what in anybody who's who's had something like that. Or I'll listen to your theories because I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out why. Um, I, I, well, I think I did. I don't know. It was, it, but it was, you know. I did, you know, whatever. I fucking went to Joshua Tree. I tried to hallucinate. Didn't quite happen. But I mean, that's what's... <laughs> I gave it the old college try. I don't know. I also think, like, I'm just not, like... Because one of my buddies is going, like, what's it like right now? I go, well, you know, the TV looks like it's growing and it's going to fall, sort of. But not really. It's not like Alice in Wonderland, but it it looks like... But I know it isn't. And then somebody else goes, just go with it. (laughs) It's like, go with what? I don't want to fucking think the TV's falling on me. I don't know. The whole fucking thing was funny. Uh, 